multiples of three, multiples of three. An amazing game, love it. Once again, the objective of multiples of three is to get kids to work as a team, to listen, to articulate their words, to project their voices, so many awesome things. This is how it works. If you're in your class or whatever space you're using, you're gonna ask your kids to circle up, create a circle facing inward. I always, I always like to do the countdown, give them 10 seconds to make their circle. 10, nine, eight, seven, three, two, one. Once the kids have created a circle, you're gonna tell them multiples of three, we go clockwise. So the first person, could be you the instructor, will start at one. The next person will say two. Now this is the catch. Any number that is a multiple of three or has a three in it, the student must clap. So they can't say the number, they can only clap. And you have to get to 40 as a group. So for example, I would start at one. Michelle would say two. Dante would, then the next student, four, five, seven, eight, 10, 11. Now, what does the student who has the number 13 do? Do they say it or do they clap? That student would clap because 13 has a three in it, okay? So we are going around in a circle. One person starts at one, the next person two, the next person, then the next person four, the next person five, then the next person seven, eight, and so on, all the way up to 40. Now, teachers, let me give you a hint. When your students get up to 30, they have to clap all the way, all the way to 39. And then someone, the last student, says 40. That's how you know you've accomplished your goal. Okay? So it sounds a little complex, but it's so much fun. All right? Um, up the stakes. Give your kids three chances to get this right. Because every time that they mess up, you have to start back over at one. So if someone says three, that person starts back over at one. Okay? Hope that helps. Bye.